Today we're here at the Wonders Theater. We're gonna check out the storybook experience. And we're also gonna show you later on some of the programming that they do throughout the week here at Broadway where you can meet princesses. And what is better than that, right? Not much, ever. And then we're also going to, later in the vlog, go check out The Hangout, which is a new place to eat at Broadway the Beach that everyone's talking about. And it looks really fun. Yeah, really good. So what do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's, Let's go! go! So as you can see behind me, they've also got a magician and a hypnotist, and they've got a comedy stunt show by Chad. One day we'll go see those, but there's also adult stuff to do. There are two options for the storybook experience. The first one is Once Upon a Dream, which is Cinderella, and then the other one is Be Our Guest, which features Belle. Belle is my favorite princess, so that's why we picked this one, and we're super excited to see what it's like. We have no idea what to expect. The beast? Yes, the beast. <laughs> <laughs> Storybook experience. We're guessing what the first song is going to be, and Skyla thinks Be Our Guest. Because it literally says it right there. It's called Be Our Guest, but that doesn't mean that's going to be the first song. Oh. I think it could be Beauty and the Beast, like the slow dance. They might start with that. But there were many in the village that did not understand my love of reading, nor my desire for adventure. But I'm here to tell you my story today, so I think I need a little bit of help. Could I have a little princess raise their hand if you would like to come up on stage and help me tell my story? I need someone to be me. Can we give her a big round of applause, please? Woohoo! Princesses, you have to come see this. It's like magic, like the whole time. The fog machine made you feel like there was magic around you. How they let you come dance up on the stage, the lights on the rows, everything, like just a little detail that I loved. I just, 
felt like there was magic in the air the whole time. So if you like Disney princesses or princes, you need to come see this. The regular ticket is $12.99 and a VIP ticket is $18.99. With the VIP, you get the meet and greet before the show, which we did. Yeah, and it was you go really, up on stage beforehand. Part of what was cool about that was just getting to go up on stage and like kind of go backstage before the show. So that part was neat. If you have the VIP, I guess you get the special band. And at the end of the show, you get to go up for the dancing. It says it's recommended for kids to get the VIP so that they can go up and dance at the end of the show. And I will say that was my absolute favorite part, going up there and breaking it down with Holdy like that was a memory that was really fun and getting to dance next to Belle and then he like traded partners and was dancing with Belle it's definitely geared toward the children who are in that phase where they love Disney princes or princesses and I could see when Skyla and Holden were like two and four or three and five they would have lost their minds with something like this what was your favorite part of it dancing at the end you did a good job up there. You were breaking it down. I loved it. Did you like dancing with me or Belle more? Sorry, but Belle. <laughs> So on Mondays, they have a dance party featuring the Snow Sisters. And then the trivia, which is on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They have strolling characters on Wednesday and Saturday. And then Snow Sisters again on Friday. Here's where you can scan to get tickets to the show. The Be Our Guest show is on Fridays and the Once Upon a Dream show is on Saturdays. And those are at one o'clock. We heard that the Snow Sisters are here tonight. So we are gonna be looking out for them. We wanna show you as much of the storybook experience programming that they have up here at Broadway as we can and what we're going to tonight is totally free the characters just come around let's go see if we can find Anna and Elsa do you think we're gonna find them yeah do you think they're gonna have Olaf with them probably <laughs> we'll find out Say hi. <laughs> Can y'all believe that Anna and Elsa are like right there? Yeah, we finally found them. We were looking. Like we went like the whole circle. They make it around Broadway. Oh, they're holding hands. I love that Anna and Elsa were holding hands when they walked around. Yeah. That was really cool. This has nothing to do with princesses, but the kids really want to go to Quickie Mart. So we're going to stop in. They decided to split a squishy and a donut and it already looks pretty strange with what they've put in. Skyla's going for the super sour lemonade. Some Buzz Cola. Oh, I already did Buzz Cola too. So we wanted the big donuts, but there's only the singles left, the 2 dollars The big donuts are amazing. They make them fresh daily here. Oh my gosh, so good. We have a video all about our experience at Simpsons 4D and Quickie Mart, so we'll put a link to that. We really love the treats. We keep coming back for them. They're so good. We are back at Broadway at the beach, and where are we headed? Hangout! Another rainy afternoon, but we're gonna eat some good food. Let's go! We are on the opposite side of Broadway at the beach of where Wonders Theater is. Hangout is hard to miss. You can see it from basically anywhere, um, and there's always the live music pumping at night, so it's very easy to spot. Too, which is nice. They're V shaped and not straight. His knuckle lines are different than the hangout knuckle lines. They're gremlins. <laughs> I just noticed that there are cars in a rainbow the whole way across. That is so fun. Appetizers. The barbecue pork nachos we've had before and they're really good. And then they have different burgers. There's one that's a Wagyu burger. Extra sides are $6 each. There are soups and salads. 
seafood boil, snow crab entree, shrimp boil. They do have chicken tenders, and then they have po' boys. They have a chicken po' boy if you don't like seafood. The kids' meals down here for the little shakas. We're gonna get some of these when we come back later for the nighttime entertainment. But they have some very fun frozen drinks. They've got mules and mojitos. Surf's up sounds fun. The shark attack, it says, is even better than shark week. Ooh, blood orange, that's up my alley. They also have a 24 ounce mug for $24. They do spiked slushies, and then they have beer and wine as well. We're gonna head upstairs. As soon as you come up the stairs, you see this awesome hangout photo op. You can dance around, be a good Insta spot. Whoa. Okay, yeah, don't do that, don't do that. And then the slide entrance is right over here. There is an elevator up top if you need one. And then there's a lot more tables up here too. You can also choose to eat at the bar and they have so many TVs. I've never seen a restaurant with this many screens. And also, I'm excited to see what happens here later in the evening because there's a stage in the middle and that is a very legit sound and lighting rig up here. All along this are really cool lunch boxes. They span the whole way down. That is so cool. Do you recognize any of these from your childhood? Whoa, is that a Chucky one? That's terrifying. I see Batman, Jurassic Park, Spider-Man, Sonic. Ooh, I even see a Christmas Story one. That's awesome. These are amazing. In case of emergency, break glass. I think Skyla and Holden would agree that sometimes you have these kinds of emergencies. It's like it's your own stage. Okay, y'all, I'm doing this for you, even though I think it's gonna hurt a little bit. Ooh, okay. And, <laughs> I'm like stopping myself. I made it. I can hear them coming down the slide. Oh my gosh, that is not a normal way to come down a slide. <laughs> This holds a world record for being the largest Pez display. There are 21,000 Pez, so it is a world record. And look at that big Snoopy. We couldn't tell what these were from across the way. It's a rubber ducky wall. There's a graduate ducky, Halloween ducky, all different kinds. We ordered the shrimp plate, the Bama burger, which has pork on it and onion. Holden got popcorn shrimp and I'm so excited. It comes in a little popcorn bag. And then Skyla got the kids chicken tenders. The seasoning on these fries is amazing. And Skyla said the chicken tenders are really good. Is there popcorn shrimp in here? Fun. Skyla's stealing some popcorn. <laughs> you dancing while you eat? How's the shrimp? see all the t-shirt designs they're all between 24 to 26 dollars I like the ones with the shaka on it be nice or go home these are all shaka ones those are really fun there's a lot of designs are you, are you having fun you can get a koosh but it's 12 dollars 
Yowza! You can get a Hangout Tervis. The big one is 28, the small one is 24. They also have Hangout footballs and soccer balls. And way more Tervis options than I saw. I like that a lot. That one's 30. They have koozies. There are a lot of Hangout hats, way more than I saw at first. These ones are cool. There's a wish wall, so the kids are gonna write down their wishes. We can write one down too. Look how many wishes there are, Skyla. What are you gonna wish for? I was gonna say, you better not tell me. Can I peek? No. Okay. I love this idea of the wish wall. And there are so many wishes up here. That's really inspiring. Yeah, there you go. Now you're gonna remember above the wish star in that corner. There's a lot of outdoor seating that's undercover, so even if it's raining, you can really still enjoy these pretty views of Broadway. You can see the Wonderworks upside down house, as the kids call it, off in the distance. We have a video about that, and we'll put a link to that one. And then it's also directly across from the aquarium, which we have a video about, and we'll put a link to that. This gives you the lineup of who's playing in August. Hulu and the Saltines are awesome. A lot of good live music every night. It is definitely a fun place to eat. They got everybody up on the table singing <laughs> yeah. happy birthday and dancing around. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. We were here at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. I did not there expect so them. so many people. I didn't expect them to be utilizing the stage already. I thought that was just going to be a nighttime thing, but no, you party all day at the hangout apparently. The food is not cheap. No. It was very fresh. The shrimp were awesome. If you come when the kids eat free, I feel like that's a great thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an adult entree for a kid's. One thing that we didn't find out till after we got the bill was that the seafood items on the kids menu were not included in that. So Holden's $12 popcorn shrimp was not a part of the kids eat free. Yeah. So that was a bummer. Wish we would have known that. We might have ordered something different. But all in all, we had a really great experience there. Our server was awesome and it's just a really cool atmosphere. This is a great option to come and do something for where the whole family can have a good time, get up on the tables and dance. And it's all about the experience here. We had a great day at the Hangout, but we're so excited to come back and see what it's like during the evening. I feel like this place is totally gonna transform. I think we're gonna have some live music. I think the kids are gonna be pumped. They went down that slide today like 20 times, I swear. When we come back, we're also gonna check out the Storybook Experience has programming all throughout Broadway at the beach. So we're gonna come up for one of the things that they're doing. And we're so excited that the Storybook Experience is teaming up with us and we have a discount code to share. So if you use the code DEAN20, you can get 20% off your tickets to the storybook experience. I'll put more details in the description so be sure to check it out and use that code. Super fun. Did you have a good time at trivia? Yes. Holden got slime and slapper, so I got slime and a ring pop, and you could just choose your prizes. And we got four tickets to an escape room. If you're looking for something fun to do that's free, come on up and do trivia. And then you can win things to go do something else that's free. So that's a win-win. <laughs> Illumination Park, which is an art installation of the Hangout, is gorgeous. This is so beautiful. Definitely worth coming to check it out at night. Is this pretty cool, swinging in the clouds? What do you think his name is? Hello, Krabby. We're naming him Krabby? Krabby. It's so windy, the rain is coming, y'all. It is a common. That is beautiful. No! <laughs> Are you blowing away in the wind? Whoa, you're blowing away. This is a giant kaleidoscope. 
That's what it looks like on the inside. Whoa. I like that it has the hangout symbol on it. Oh, this is 100% my favorite one. That is beautiful with the lights behind it. It looks like the cloud is storming. Let's see your surfer moves. <laughs> That's a big surfer. <laughs> nice. The blood orange Paloma. Tequila, Sprite, some juices. It's delicious. It's salty, but it's refreshing. It's good.
are you going to do now, Goldie? Green Eyed Girls, are you ready? No! This is the blue shark and it's got vodka and blue carousel and it's like a really refreshing lemonade drink and I definitely like them more like this where they're fully frozen. They didn't have the frozen ones outside tonight but Scott went in and got this one and this is like a winner. I like this one more than the other one but they're both really good. They're all very refreshing and fun. It has been a whirlwind here at Broadway the Beach. We had a great time at the Storybook Experience. Thank you so much to them for inviting us out and getting to see the Be Our Guest show. I think that that reminds me of when you're at Disney World and you go to the Enchanted Tales with Belle. It gives you like a Disney fix, but without going to Disney World. So it's totally an awesome experience, especially if you book the VIP where you get to get up on stage and dance with them. It was pretty magical and the kids really enjoyed it. Coming here for their programming that they do around Broadway at the beach was super fun too. We had an awesome meal at the hangout and I'm glad we came back for the evening. Totally different experience, totally different vibe. I definitely want to come back here mm -hmm. and hang out. Like the name makes sense. You want to just relax. The kids loved playing here. There's so much for them to do with the foam and the sand area. Too much area. sand, too much sand, yeah. A lot of sand and a lot of foam, but the kids absolutely loved it. Definitely worth it to come in the evening because it is next level with the entertainment. And Illumination Park at night is gorgeous. So yeah. I can't wait to keep coming back because they changed this up. So I want to see what it's like as they change it up. So amazing time at Broadway at the Beach. You know, there's so many great shows here, so many great restaurants, but I highly recommend the Storybook Experience and highly recommend the Hangout. So thanks for coming along with us mm -hmm. and we'll see you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. And